and welcome back to Fancy Girls Drinks. Today we are focusing on a Easter punch. So it is the Lenten season. We are closely about to celebrate Easter. And so we thought we would do a little old school celebration with a champagne sherbet punch. And that's what we are gonna make today, right? Mm -hmm. It's our Easter brunch punch yeah. uh, to celebrate Easter. Um, you know, back in the day, we'd have a house full of people over for Easter. And I know with COVID, it's kind of like tampered down a little bit. So anyway, you know, you've already worked hard all day. You're like prepared a bunch of food and stuff. So it's easy just to put out a punch bowl. It just has a, a lot of nostalgia to it. So you just fill it up uh, with the Easter brunch punch and people can help themselves. Now, that's one less thing you have to worry about on Easter Sunday. I know, right? You got enough cooking to do with the ham, Easter ham, possibly turkey, lamb, and all the trimmings, macaroni and cheese, Hi, chitlins, lins, ah. chitlins all, and all the other stuff that you have to do. So this is one less task by preparing a punch and then just let people help themselves. So anyway. And this year, Easter falls on uh, April 17th. Each year it kind of varies a little bit, yeah. but this year, last year was a lot earlier. I think it was like the April 4th or something like that. But anyway, this year yeah, is it April was 17th. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it varies each year. But anyway, so with our Easter brunch punch, we have raspberry lemonade. It's, it's about 59 ounces. So we're going to pour that in to our punch bowl. Punch bowl. I remember this punch bowl is, believe it or not, this punch bowl is over 40 years old. It has a lot of memories um, attached to it. This was inherited by our parents. Um, I have fun memories of this. Every time this punch bowl came out, I know it was a good time in the party, right? Yeah. Definitely, it was around, usually around Christmas time, around Christmas which time. was uh, our yeah. father's birthday. He yeah. was born on December 25th. Yeah. May he rest in peace. Yeah. His birthday was on Christmas Day, so it was always a big celebration and a party in our house. Uh, we would not only celebrate Christmas, we would celebrate his birthday. So we would have a, a big party. All the relatives would come over, friends, you know, Christmas neighbors, music going, Christmas yeah, music. We had yeah. the Temptations was uh, blasting, uh, Little Johnny Walker, um, Gladys Knight, all the old favorites. And I always remember this um, punch bowl. When I saw this came out, when, it, when this came out, I knew it was a big celebration about to happen. And so I, I remember uh, in particular, um, probably six, between six and eight years old, one particular Christmas, um, they brought the punch bowl out, made this big, uh, fabulous punch. And me as a kid, I'm thinking, oh, punch, right? <laughs> so every time I went into the dining room, I would get me a glass of punch. I'm drinking punch, I'm drinking punch. You know, the adults, they, they're uh, dancing and down in the bar and celebrating and listening to the temptations and everything. So every time I went into the living room, dining room, dining room actually, I would get a glass of punch. Well, little did I know, my parents had put at least a fifth or more of vodka in the punch. Uh, but I quickly realized that the next day, I was sick the whole day after Christmas because I drank too much Christmas punch, not knowing that it was spiked. Yeah. You, you remember that? Yeah, I definitely <laughs> I remember that. Definitely I remember. And so, in our, to our raspberry lemonade, we're gonna add a liter of ginger ale. Woo, got me. And this is really enough to serve 20 people, four ounce servings each. And which is about the size of those uh, punch glasses. So, and, and, and this another thing I want to say, you know, if your if, if your coin can take it, buy quality when you can. Now, can you believe that this punch bowl is over forty, possibly close to fifty years old? You know, it's like I know sometimes when I was younger, and I thought I could not afford to, I would buy whatever my coin would allow me to. But 
I just want to say if you can afford to, if you buy quality goods, this is a testament right here to how long something will last if you buy a quality product. And then this is considered an antique. So some yeah. punch bowls can go from anywhere from a thousand up to nineteen thousand dollars, depending on you know the material that the punch bay punch bowl is made of. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Who knows? Granny's punch bowl may be you know worth some. Yeah, you right should now. check out Granny's punch bowl because it <laughs> might be worth a few thousand dollars. All right. Matter of fact, we should get this one appraised. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway. you know, I don't know how much it's worth, but it has a lot of. Um, value to us a lot of good yeah. memories good memories yeah. you know it, it's good it's memories. priceless as far as i'm concerned and most of it was just christmas time i don't think we really pulled it out any other no, time other it was, than christmas it was only christmas it was yeah, only it was, christmas time so as far as i'm concerned it's birthday. priceless you know yeah 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 so you gotta put a liter of club soda And then, you know what, if you didn't want to put the club soda, you could substitute the club soda for, you know, champagne, quality champagne, whatever champagne. You can put champagne in there instead of the club soda. And yep. then, we're going to add a cup of vodka. Now, you can add the vodka or you can omit it, you know, if you have a lot of kids and you want to make it kid friendly. So there's certain, you know, kids like, you know, you know who over here has testament to <laughs> <laughs> won't be sick the next day mm -hmm. so you can omit the vodka and then you can add the vodka have the vodka on the side for the adults but we're going to put a cup of vodka all right and the last part is the special part part that i'm waiting for the sherbet yeah and with this with the sherbet too the sherbet makes it special if you didn't want to put the sherbet in you could omit that too but i think it adds a special little uh, festive quality to it. So we already like uh, scooped out some sherbet and put them in the, you can do it ahead of time. Scoop them out, make some sherbet balls and then add the sherbet balls to add some extra flavor to it. Yes! Or like I say, <laughs> you could omit them and then just make like an ice ring uh, and put some, some raspberries in it, freeze it in the ice ring and put it in there if you didn't want to do the sherbet. But we're adding some sherbet because we want to make it nice and festive. Doesn't that look yummy? We're going to stir it up oh, a little bit. All right. I am going to take me a glass. Whoa! Uh, well, <laughs> good thing you didn't break it. <laughs> Her father's turning Lord, over in his mercy. grave right now. But oh, oh, we're going to add some raspberry oh, for garnish. These are fresh raspberry. Now we just add them all in here. In here. Okay. I'm going to glass. All right. Okay. I think I'm gonna put a couple in my glass too. You're not the only one that's fancy. All right. All right, all right. Put a couple fancy of raspberries. Girls drink. Right. And then we're gonna add a few lime slices, you know, because we want to add a little extra color to it. Oh, doesn't that look festive? And this is our Easter brunch punch. All right. All right, let's get the ladle. Let's give it one final stir. Oh, look at that. All right, you ready? Throw my glass up in the air. I can't wait. Yeah, okay. Let's add a little to that. You want some more? A little more, a little more. I'm trying to teach you. Okay, thank you. All right, get okay. me some Easter brunch punch. All right. Here we go. These little loops right here, <laughs> they're kind of tiny, All but right. you know. So all right, cheers. Cheers. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Mm, I like that. Mm, enjoy. You can really taste the raspberry flavor. Raspberries in season. It has a lot of healthy benefits for you. So enjoy. Okay, well, if you like this segment, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave comments below. If you have any Easter memories from your family, um, anything you want to share, any recipes you like to share, any special memories from your Easter days from a kid, 
just uh, comment down below. We would love to hear it. 